Welcome Comets to a brand new season of This Week on Campus, your weekly webcast of news, events, and sports here at Western Iowa Tech. I'm Jane Suarez. And I'm Faith Rogers. Did you know that the other name of a buffalo is bison? On Wednesday, September 11th, Dan Whitlock answered some questions about the buffalo roundup at Custer State Park. Dan participated in the 2023 trip to the Black Hills Buffalo Roundup. After the trip, he did some research in Tatanaka and graciously agreed to share what he discovered. My name is Sue Owens. I'm with Lifelong Learning at Western Iowa Tech. Uh, today, we had Dan Whitlock come and talk to us about Tatanka, which stands for the, which is the Lakota word for buffalo. And uh, we were very thrilled to have him come. He went on our Buffalo Black Hills Roundup trip last year, and so he did a lot of research and even um, and purchased a book and showed us a lot of things about the bison and about the Buffalo Roundup and um, the history behind it, um, how they uh, process the the Roundup, um, some of the viewing areas, some of the other animals that we'll see on the bus as we drive in and um, just how beautiful the buffalo and the black hills and all of the animals are. Uh, we're very excited. We're going to be going on the trip from September the 25th through the 28th, and we'll also see Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse, and we're also going to visit um, uh, a lot of different places in the area. They have a lot of museums and Hill City and uh, we're just looking forward to the trip. It's a lot of fun to do together. There's something about gathering with other people and watching for the buffalo as they come across the hills and, uh, and being out in nature. And uh, so that is what we did today. We um, had lifelong learners that were interested in, the buff in learning more about the buffalo as well as some people that are going on the trip. And so we were able to talk about it and answer questions and uh, hand out our tentative itinerary and uh, we're just thankful for Dan Whitlock and his uh, presentation to show us uh, different things that we're going to see on the trip and uh, things that we may not have been aware of before. September 25th to the 28th, Lifelong Learning will take a trip to Black Hills for the Buffalo Roundup. For more information, reach out to Sue Owens. Up next, we'll be taking a look at upcoming events here on campus. Stay with us. I'm Megan Zabrowski, a Western Iowa Tech graduate. I'm from Sioux Center, and I moved to Iowa when I was in high school. As a student with disability, I needed a school I can put my trust in to help me grow and expand my career opportunities. Western Iowa Tech Community College had what I needed. I joined the Math Communication Department to get a degree in video and media production. If you want the tool for success, come to Western Iowa Tech Community College. Your life sounds pretty great. Don't let a buzz ruin it. Okay. Buzz driving is drunk they driving. They literally just showed a beer bottle on that TV. That is literally... How do you know when you've made the right decision? How dare they? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the one that says, sure, I can have a drink. Or the feeling that says, okay, I've been drinking. Now what? It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Plan ahead. Catch a sober ride. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back. Are you wanting to show off your knowledge of fun facts? Join Western Iowa Tech's Trivia League. Gather your Brainiac buddies and receive obscure questions about 90s bands to quantum physics. If you're interested, come to the library at 6.30 to 8 on September 17th. On September 19th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., get ready to build your own animal. Go to room D222 and one person each will be able to make your own stuffed animal. Just remember to bring your ID while supplies last. On September 10th is an all-day free movie ticket drawing event. Keep an eye out looking for the clues around the main campus. 
collect them all and you'll be entered in the drawing for free movie tickets to the Promenade Theater that can be used for yourself or with friends to watch a movie of your choice on Tuesdays. For Constitution Day, come to room D-103 on September 17th to dive into the heart of America and the First Amendment with these people's powers events. You'll get to hear about the problems that arose with the birth of voting and the First Amendment by getting to hear stories from speakers and even Q&A to understand how these elements impact us. The event will be from 11.30 a.m. to 12.45, with voter registration happening at the same time at 11 a.m. to 1. Students get to meet the Sioux City Sillies this Saturday, September 14th, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., so make sure to go and have fun with the Sioux City Sillies. Do you want you and your friends to symbolize your friendship? Western Iowa Tech is hosting friendship bracelets September 18th and 19th in the library. Come in and make some cool bracelets. Want to listen to people who have overcome addiction? In the Faces and Voices of Recovery event, you'll be able to listen to individuals sharing their journeys and hope, healing, and renewal visit. Visit the event on Thursday, September 26th from 1 to 2.15 p.m. at the Cargill Auditorium. That's all for upcoming events. We'll be taking a look at weather with Wendy Ramirez next. Stay with us. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Hear that? Good. That's the sound of your life. Perfectly imperfect. But every time you drive after drinking, the music gets drowned out. Your life sounds pretty great. Don't let a buzz ruin it. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Don't drive buzzed. Welcome back, comics. Is there any expected rain this week? Yeah, so uh, this coming week, we are going to be having uh, some of the rain. But this weekend, uh, for Saturday, we're going to be having a high of 81, low with 64. Uh, Sunday, we're going to be having 85, low is going to be 64. And then later this week, we're going to be having on Monday, uh, 84 with, uh, what is it, high, and then a low of 66. On Tuesday, we're going to be having 85 high and then a low of 67. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to be having uh, 79 high and then a low with 64. So we're also going to be having precipitation right there. On what is it? On Wednesday, we're going to be having 40%. And then I forgot to say it for Tuesday, we're going to be having 50%. On Thursday, we're going to be having a high of 82. And then on, what is it, on Tuesday, Thurs Thursday, we're also going to be having a precipitation of 30%. So yeah, it's going to be so-and-so, I would say. It's not going to look too bad, but it's still going to look pretty good this week. That's all coming. Right. Thanks, Wendy. When we come back, we'll be talking all about the sports happening. Stay with us. Being a cowboy, I don't know anything different from when I was three or four years old. I did tough things. I thought everybody needed to do tough things. And if you didn't, I didn't have time for it. I had a very successful career at a very young age, and life was fast. I was preparing physically. I wasn't doing anything mentally on the inside. And then 
I got hurt. I wanted to be better as a person. And I really dug into mental health. I start my day with 20 minute workouts. I live life eight seconds at a time. Horses are so therapeutic. They know what you're feeling. When you're nervous, they're nervous. He won't say it back, but we're pals. I take a lot of responsibility in taking care of my kids, my family, and being there for them. You're gonna have tough days. Everybody does. Find a place to stop and just breathe. Love your mind. Jaden, why don't you tell us about the sports team this week? Why don't I? The Western Iowa Tech women's volleyball team won their first conference game uh, Thursday, September 12th against Hawkeye Community College. The Comets pulled off an amazing comeback where they trailed the Red Tails 2-0 going to the third set and rallied back, winning three sets in a row with a final score of 3-2. The Comets will host another home game Friday, September 13th against Minnesota West Community and Technical College where they will look to carry on their win streak. The Comets women's soccer ball uh, soccer team put together another dominant uh, performance on the road, winning 8-2 at Dakota County Technical College on Wednesday, September 11th. Their next match will be Saturday, September 14th at 11 a.m. against East Central College at Ruger Field. The Comets men's soccer team faced Dakota Com County Technical College on Wednesday, September 11th as well, where they won 6-2 led by sophomores Tyler Witter and Jake Watt, who both had two goals apiece in the Comets win. They'll face off against East Central College September 14th at 1 p.m. at Ruger Field. That's all for sports this week. Tune in next time for more news on your favorite Comets sports teams. Thanks, Jaden. We'll have some campus stops when we come back. Last week, Brandon met a girl on a dating app. One day after work, he finally found the courage to ask her out. No answer. He started to panic. Was he being too pushy? Maybe it was too Hey, sorry I didn't respond. I was driving. I would love to go on a date. How does tonight sound? Brandon tried to play it cool, but inside he knew. A girl so smart, so responsible. She must be a keeper. Make sure to start your morning off right with a stop at the coffee spot before class. You can grab a nice hot cup of coffee and a muffin or a refreshing soft drink and a sandwich or an energy drink and a candy bar. They have everything you would need to make your day a little bit better. The coffee spot is located just inside the main entrance and is open Monday through Thursday 7.30 to 1.30 p.m. and on Friday 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. If you are looking for a quiet spot to study, work on assignments, or need some tutoring, the library is the perfect place. The library is open Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m., Thursdays and Fridays, 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Sundays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. The library is closed on Saturdays. The campus bookstore is all the newest Western Iowa Tech gear and apparel you could want, from sweatshirts and hats to backpacks and notebooks. The bookstore is located inside Entrance 1 across from the IT department. They are open 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. As the temperatures fall, the chances of catching a cold rise, so making a trip to the campus clinic is a great way to keep yourself healthy. 
The campus clinic is located in room A212 of the Kaiser Building. They are open from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. No appointment is necessary. Just show your college ID and they will get you healthy so you won't miss class. If you're looking to raise your heart rate or practice your jump shot, the Robert E. Dunker Center has everything you need. The Dunker Center is open Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Fridays 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays 8 a.m. to noon, and Sundays noon to 5 p.m. The Dunker Center is closed during athletic practices, so check with the front desk for information on practice times. Feel free to check any of those places out on campus. When we come back, we'll have closing remarks. Whether it's our stories, the warmth of our laugh, or our family's secret sauce, we all bring something different to the table. So make some space. The power of connection is waiting right outside your comfort zone. Learn how you can help strengthen your community at belongingbeginswithus.org slash team up. Anti-Semitism, a trail of hatred going back thousands of years. It lives in the shadows. It's not always swastikas in synagogue shootings. It shows up on social media and flyers on front lawns. Whatever its shape, the message is hate. And the shadow of anti-Semitism is growing. It starts with hating Jews, but it never ends there. If it stays hidden, it continues to spread. Help shine a light on anti-Semitism. Visit shinealighton.com and together, let's drive out the darkness. You will be able to find all of Western Iowa Tech's information and events on our social media pages. This information will be available to you on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and X. If you want to stay updated with upcoming events, make sure to follow us on our social media pages. If you have something you would like to publicize on This Week on Campus, email us at thisweek at witcc.edu. This is a webcast from the Mass Communications Program here at Western Iowa Tech Community College in Sioux City, Iowa. Check out new episodes of This Week on Campus every Friday afternoon for the latest content from our programs. Please visit our website, witcc.tv, where you can find a direct link to our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next week. <laughs>